Welcome back YouTube, here we are with more RetroPie information and for this video I want to share with you this awesome resource that I don't think everybody knows about but it's a really really nice resource to see and it also might clarify a lot of things and a lot of questions you all have about the different images and the different uh, ways to organize and display RetroPie, especially running Emulation Station. Now, first thing to understand is there's a difference between emulation station and a track mode. A track moding being a totally different front end from emulation station, and there are two separate things. Well, emulation station themes will not run on a track mode, and vice versa. I'm sure you can pull from them and code them in a way that they would uh, operate similarly, but for now, you can't just take one of these emulation themes and put it on a track mode. It is separate. Now, with that said, I'm a big fan of Emulation Station. I like a track mode as well. My thinking is a track mode is beautiful on a bar top because you have that scrolling thing. It's really nice. But I really like Emulation Station and the functionality that it brings. Um, also, there's a lot, a lot of development being done. And to prove that point, I have the Theme Gallery, which is, um, show, it is a directory that gives you a screenshot and whether it supports videos or not. All right, so in this video, I'm on a motion blue image running emulation station. And you could see that as you scroll through the menu of games for Super Nintendo, there's these videos being played. And these are called video snaps. And uh, for your reference, that would be considered video support. So if the emulation station theme has the ability for video support, that means you can run videos if you like. Um, as far as whether you should do videos or not, that depends on the type of uh, image you would like to build. However, do keep in mind that these video files do start to rack up a lot of data. So if you're trying to make a 16 or 32 gigabyte image, I would really uh, consider whether or not you want video snaps, unless you're not putting very many games on there. If you're trying to get this like ultimate collection, then I think video snaps are, you need to get into the higher data if you want a large collection and uh, you know video snaps for all of them. Where here's a theme which is just box art. You know, you could do themes with box art or video, or um, not video, but uh, thumbnail pictures. Um, these are both running emulation station, but just one allows video support and one does not. So that brings you back to here. So video support might be important to you. Uh, starting off, carbon, uh, carbon centered. As you can see, the big difference there is the center, the car, it's centered, the artwork versus to the right. Um, carbon, no metadata, so it's not going to give you the descriptions. It's just going to literally give you the box art and the name of the game. It's not going to give you like whether two player or the game description. Uh, you have pixel, you have pixel with metadata, so one with which is the system, and then one with the actual like description of each game. Then you have pixel with just box art and the game, so really simple one. Uh, you have luminous. Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen Luminous before. See, some of these are like new to me. You got Workbench and Video Support, no, 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 no. All these have no. Then you have, I don't even know how to pronounce some of these, Eudora. Um, some with the smaller box art, some bigger, some with metadata, some without. Uh, you have the Retro Play, clean, kind of a white, frosty, kind of cool looking thing. No video support though. You got the Turtle Pie. You got the Simple tur Turtle Pie. <laughs> You got the simple, you got the simple dark, you got the color pie. That one's kind of cool if you like camo. You got the simplified static. All right, you know me, you've seen my static on my YouTube channel, I'm down. You got the Zoid, uh, NBBA, I've seen a couple images with this on there. Material, IO, all these have no video support so far. Metapixel has metadata on there as well. Space. The Final Frontier. Uh, cool looking. Simple, big art. You get the clean look. Seen a couple like that. You got the Tronky Fran. Flat. Flat dark. Switch light. Switch dark. And now you're getting into where they do support videos. So you could do video snaps on there if you'd like. Futura. I've seen quite a few um, images with this on there. Um, and I like it. I like the Futura. Futura is, is clean, the artwork is great, and it's super smooth. Super smooth, no lag whatsoever. Uh, NES Mini, uh, we've all seen that, right? It's just like the SNES Classic Mini. Really, try, I, It really just basically mimics that front end. Um, if you're building an NES Mini, it's cool. To me, I, I think it's kind of clunky. 
you know, I'd rather go Futura myself. But again, this is all up to you. You're in control over here. You decide. You got the CRT, CRT centered art book, um, TFT, comic book. Comic book is really popular. It's a smooth scrolling. It's got the cool fonts. It's got cool photos. The box art is nice and big. It's organized. I like that it has a long list of games. This one's pretty good. Try this one out. You might like it. Uh, not having much more than that one. Steampunk. What is that? Cygnus. Having much more than that. Hursty Blue comes with Motion Blue. That's the one I was showing you earlier in this video. I love it. It's great. Really good stuff. Maximus Pie. Nice. You get a little bar top there. Game list. No metadata, it looks like, but it does support videos. Showcase. This one is fairly new. A lot of people like it very much. Retro Rama. This is my boy Phil's Doodles. I know he works on this. Uh, he works on a lot of that art himself. So good on him. I mean, that's really cool. And he's working on another one as well that I'm sure we'll see on this list soon. Uh, GBZ35, GBZ35 Dark. Another really, I've seen this image, this before. Really smooth scrolling. Pretty basic though. Uh, Mario Blue. I haven't had much time with that one. Royal Primacia. Primacia. Cool, cool. I like the, all the logos in the background. No video support though. And uh, this one's all Mario themes. Super NES Mario, and uh, what is that? Mario 3 or something type art. Uh, and then you get the PlayStation. I haven't tried this much either, but it doesn't look that amazing. Um, and then Magazine Madness. I, we just saw Magazine Madness in a previous video I did. I was actually very impressed by this one. As far as HD graphics, really solid stuff. Um, it doesn't really go for the retro look, it's actually much more futuristic, if you ask me. Like, I could see this on a PlayStation 4, you know, for a game or something, for a, a menu screen on a PlayStation 4. It was that good. It was pretty good. So there you go. I hope this helped you out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a link in the description if you want to check this out yourself and see which themes you're interested in. But really cool that this is on GitHub. GitHub has a lot of re references for you resources and references for you and this is just another great one uh, it's very easy to get these um, themes a lot of them you just got to go to RetroPie setup and then go into the configuration and then emulator emulation theme and as long as you're on the internet you can download these fairly easily uh, it's really cool that this customization exists as you see there's a couple dozen not three dozen here uh, maybe even more to choose from it's a good way to you know uh, differentiate your pie from anyone else's. You could choose your case, you could choose your controllers, and then now you can choose the front end and how it looks. So really cool, really, really cool stuff. Uh, and it's so easy now, and uh, the, the functionality is just getting better and better and better. And uh, as you've seen in some of my previous videos, they really do look good. And if you want to see some of these themes, I'll post some links in the description for that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys on the next one.